We're here with Lena from the FDA. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, I did a video in front of the FDA uh, uh, campus there in Maryland. Oh, you did? Yeah, wow. it was really cool. I had like a little vlog, a vlogging camera and I did it, but so much has changed since then. And there's like a misconception that the, like among sites, mm -hmm. that the FDA is out to get there. And one of the things I've been noticing from talking to the CRO sponsors, even the tech vendors and like the good sites mm -hmm. that I've actually been through FDA audits is it's not really the case. Like no, you no. guys work closely with sponsors and make sure the drugs are safe. Can you talk a little bit about the um, experience you've been having here at ACRP so far? Yeah, the experience has been really positive. Um, actually, years ago, I've done this conference every year, and years ago, people would avoid our booth just because of, you know, <laughs> we're basically, joking about yeah. that earlier. <laughs> uh, exactly what you said. People yeah. thought that we were out to get them, and that is not <laughs> the case. Um, actually, FDA works really hard to um, bring people into compliance, so that means working together. I mean, it's not about, you know, um, going after somebody for doing something wrong. It's really about pointing out things that could be brought into compliance um, so that you're protecting your patients, you are protecting your data, and, you know, uh, ultimately everybody wants to have good results in the end. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, so we have to work together as a team in order to do that. Um, Why is it important that you guys have a presence at conferences like this? Because you're the only regulator here as far uh, as... <laughs> As far as I can because tell. it is important because there are a lot of questions. I actually work in the Office of Communications uh, in Cedar, and our division, the Division of Drug Information, receives call questions from industry all the time, every day, from all over the world. And mm. so it is really important that we have information available for the, in the regulated industry so that they are able to do the right thing. And our presence really is just to make sure they have the information to answer their questions. And, you know, we have so many resources on our website. We have a great outreach program. We have our small business and industry assistance program um, that has several industry conferences a year, live webinars, and everything is recorded. These are valuable resources uh, for any uh, member of industry, regulated industry. Thank you, Lena. I mean, we appreciate the work you do as somebody who follows a lot of biotech companies, pharma companies, and also owns a site. I really appreciate the work you guys do. Can you just walk us through maybe as we wrap up a little bit of the material we have oh, here? Oh, yeah. The, you want to hold the mic? Just oh, <laughs> well, the materials are kind of bare right now because everybody took everything. But um, one thing I have to um, say is our small business and industry assistance program, um, everybody in ACRP has received this card in their bag. Okay. Um, it has QR codes. But um, basically, um, this is one of the main resources that we um, promote here at the conference because everything is recorded um, for um, any member of industry. Sometimes we have CE credits depending on what type of um, CE you're looking for. Um, but a, almost all of the conferences are at no cost, um, virtually wow. available, a great resource. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention are um, our Cedar Learn Training and Education. Um, this, again, um, is really important. We are promoting this because we have a one-stop shop for Cedar Learning, um, and it could be things that are uh, just very basic where you have people in your um, sites who just need to learn about FDA, the mission, um, and um, other things, uh, yeah. how the structure of FDA. That's super important. Yeah, and then, you know, we have uh, some some specific topics as well. And there are, I think, over 200 courses available on this website. Um, so with this combined with SBIA, I think um, you, you just have to walk away with those two things. Um, and then on the back of this card um, is our contact information. So we do wow. encourage people to call and email us whenever they have a question. I mean, We'll that... put links to the YouTube and LinkedIn <laughs> underneath. Yeah. Diversity um, in trials too. Yeah, we have uh, lots of different things like contact information, important um, guidances. Um, I think we pulled very select topic areas and that are up right now. Um, just being talked about in general. We don't have all of the uh, hot topics, yeah. but definitely we have some of the important ones. Well, like this is one that's diversity. Super, yes. super important for everyone. Um, Sponsors, us with Latinos in Clinical Research. Mm -hmm. We have a group called Latinos in Clinical Research, yeah. and this is 
We've been doing this since 2020. Yeah, absolutely. It's, now the FDA is mandating that we have reflective patient population in Which the trials. Which is important. Yeah, absolutely. super important. And then for rare diseases is one of the top priorities in the FDA, um, a development of you know, treatment options for uh, patients who have rare diseases is just very hard. You're not going to get the numbers that you want to participate in clinical trials. And so um, over the years, hearing from many patients, many, um, you know, advocates, um, definitely natural history studies is something to, to consider when yeah, you're, no, thank you're, you you're doing work in that space. Um, this this is actually too. is um, a workshop that's coming up very soon. Um, May 13th. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we have other workshops too, public uh, workshops that are free for the public. It's always important to engage with FDA uh, if you are um, working on a specific topic, really want to learn wow. and also express your own um, thoughts and opinions because that to FDA is very important. Yeah. Um, we do have other things too going on, um, but we have so much resources. I mean, this is like bear pickings right now. <laughs> I'm glad I worked up the courage to approach the FDA you know, as a site, as someone who works in the industry, yeah, you're right. Like people yeah. are generally afraid, but uh, but not that's anymore. Not, shouldn't be the case. But you know, uh, pleasant. It, it, this you know, over the years, I've seen the shift where um, people are recognizing that FDA is here is here to really be a resource, yeah. uh, to be the regulator, to really just help everybody do the right thing. Um, so thank you very much, Lena. I really appreciate no it. Nice meeting you here. Yeah.